A Brief Story of Developing Adobe After Effects June 1990. COSA startup found by four students of Brown University, Greg Diocampo, David Foster, David Herbstman, and David Simons. COSA means the company of science and art. It happened in Providence, Rhode Island. COSA team's strategy was to become content provider. To achieve that goal they planned to develop digital journal authoring system for Macintosh. First COSA presentation on Mac Expo in Boston failed but inspired guys to create Paco. Pix animation compiler. It could play synchronized audio and video. Meanwhile Apple developed brand new technology called QuickTime. It changed the very idea of COSA software. Now COSA team decided to develop software for animated effects with wide file formats support, from MIDI to TXT. The idea was really global and has never been implemented. Keep in mind that COSA was only a small startup, as a result cut version of that program with key features released in January 1993. It named After Effects, by the way team examined such names as Video Banana, Effects as a Movie Twist, July 1993 COSA with its developments was acquired by Aldis Corporation Aldis developed PageMaker software. September 1, 1994 Aldis became part of Adobe Corporation. That's how After Effects started its wonderful journey to the world fame. The first version of After Effects supported layer composing, allowed to create simply masks and made basic layer transformations. Animation was created with keyframes. January 1994 Second version of After Effects released It had motion blur feature support Image sequence import Multi-machine render Proxy files and frame blending October 1995 Version 3.0 deployed It was very notable version of the program Added, render queue, bezier masks, time remapping, keyframe assistant, wiggler, motion sketch and smother tools Multi-effects layer support First appearance of graph editor for Runor called Velocity Graph 3.0 version had Adobe Illustrator layers support and collapse transformation switch, a Plaha channel added as well as blending modes and non-square pixel support. Two years later, May 1997, presented first Windows version of After Effects 3.1. January 1995 fourth version of After Effects released, Aldis team didn't waste their time and made next improvements, windows with tabs, several mask per layer, audio effects, adjustment layer, ramp review, premiere files support and color layer labels. The fourth version had brand new distort effect, particle playground, transform, rulers and grid added. one version deployed September 1995 and had these novelty, flowchart, watch folder, 30,000 pixels image size, 3D channel effects, collect files feature. April 2001 Aldis team presented Really Revolution Software, After Effects 5.0. Here are some key features. 3D layer support, parent-child system, vector paint, expressions, pick whip, mask drawing in the composition window, 16-bit color space, mask settings, feather, expansion, opacity, PDF format support, solo mode, value change by dragging, Effects order. Reduce project feature. File 2 gigabits output. August 2003, After Effects 6.0 presented. Here's the list of improvements text layer animators, editable PSD layers, Opangle support, Motion tracker. Roto Bezier tool. 6 version bundled with new effects, key light, liquify, scribble, 
dust and scratches, three years passed before all this team released seventh version of After Effects. January 2006, A7.0 released with the next features, OpenGL 2.0 support, brand new program UI, graph editor, 32-bit color space support and 32-bit sound, Adobe Bridge integration, color profiles management feature, dynamic link technology for better interaction with Premiere, script editor, auto save option, smart and lens blur effects, for character text blur. January 2008, Aldis team presented Adobe After Effects Creative Suite 3. It had such revolutionary features as, shape layers, puppet tool that opened brand new character animation technique. There were another interesting features, brand storm, Photoshop vanishing point import, real-time audio output, simultaneous frame render, SWF files import, non-linear color space. September 2008, CS4 released. Fast search feature added that allows to search throughout project and timeline. Mini flowchart tool added, separate dimensions, mocha tool, cartoon effects, XMP metadata. CS4 is the last Aldis team inside Adobe release. CS5 released by Adobe. From that version software runs only on 64x system. Features added, Roto Brush Tool, Refine Matte, Mocha 2.0, Lit Files, AVC Intra and Red Support, Color Finesse 3, Digifect Freeform, Auto Keyframe Feature. Three years later, April 2011, CS 5.5 released. New Warp Stabilizer Effect. 3D Stereo Support Adobe Audition Integration, Light Fall Off, Previous Version Export Ability April, 2012, CS6 version presented including next improvements Global Cache Technology 3D Tracker, Ray Tracing, Mask Edge Softness New Psychor effects. Avid and Final Cut import, in chased GPU acceleration, rolling shutter repair. Updated Mocha. June 2013, Creative Cloud version with the new idea of software distribution. Key features, Cinema 4D support, Refine Edge tool. Layers snapping, missed footage, font. Assets search. By cubic scale switch. After Effects CC 2014 was released on January 2014. Novelty, advanced spill suppressor, key cleaner, edited text templates for Premiere, compositing options feature, external monitor mercury transmit technology. June 2015, After Effects CC 2015 released. That was very buggy version started changes in architecture. Brand new app character animator presented, uninterrupted preview, creative cloud library support, face tracking technology and bunch of bugs and preview problems. These problems were fixed in 2015.13.7.1 update. What's next? According to Adobe Blog they work on performance, developing new engine, GPU accelerated effects, Lumetri, Gaussian Blur. Please write in comments which version is the best.